Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the privacy settings on your macOS device. This will allow you to adjust what permissions certain apps have, as well as Firewall, Firevault, and much more. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so to access security and privacy settings, what you need to do is go to System Preferences or on macOS Ventura, it'll be called System Settings. And then find on your settings menu the security and privacy settings, um, which is located just here, but on macOS Ventura it will be all on the left um, side, so you can find it um, wherever it is on your operating system. So just click on that. And we'll start at the general page. So you'll see there's four different pages here and I'll run through each of those in this video. So to start with, we can have a look at what general says. So it's asking uh, whether a login password has been set for this user and it says it has been and then you can change the password if you want to. You can ask how long it requires um, time has been passed before it requires the uh, passcode word again um, on your computer. Um, so in this case, it's set to five minutes, but you can change that to whatever you fancy for this. And then if you'll see there's some other settings here, but they're grayed out. So we'll need to click the lock to make changes and I'll just enter the password for this user account and one lock it. You'll hear it makes that little sound and we've got some others here. So you can decide whether it shows a message when the screen is locked. So what that would be, if you turn that on is you can say, um, a message for it to show like, um, this computer belongs to Unpacked Technologies. Um, and you could write that in so that someone on the lock screen um, could then uh, see that this who the computer belongs to or just any sort of personalized message. That's always an interesting one to show. And you can also disable automatic login, which is on by default. Um, but if you want to turn that off, it will automatically log into this user. Then you can also choose where you want to allow apps to be downloaded from. So whether it's only the App Store or also the App Store and identified developers. Now, if you download an app from the web and Apple detects it as an unidentified developer, um, you've probably been in this menu before where you have to um, click open system preferences and then you have to enter your passcode and click open anyway because it's from an unidentified developer. So this is where you would come uh, to allow those settings. All right, so that's it for general. Um, if we have a look at File Vault here, um, what File Vault does is it encrypts your entire hard drive or SSD so that whenever you need to log into it, you have to enter a password to de encrypt the files. So, um, what it does is you need a login password or recovery key to access your data. And if you forget both your password and the recovery key, the data will be lost. So only do this if you really want to lock down your security and you want to uh, make sure that all your files are really safe and secure um, and you know that you won't lose um, access to that code because if you do, you won't be able to access any of your data. But it essentially just encrypts the whole hard disk. So before the computer will even turn on and boot into the operating system, you'll need to enter a password um, for that account instead of entering it when the OS starts up. So that's a good security measure if you'd like to use it. Then in Firewall, um, Firewall essentially just um, monitors the computer's network and puts some restrictions in um, based on what you've set. So um, you can restrict certain traffic and certain websites and things like that. Um, so this can be used for certain organizations and things like that. So by turning it on just then, it says the file firewall is turned on and set up to prevent unauthorized applications, programs, and services from accepting incoming to connections. So that's what it says if you turn it on and you can do some further um, changes to your firewall um, in the firewall options. And if you turn it off, it'll just say this computer's firewall is currently turned off. All incoming connections to this computer are currently allowed. So... Um, that's just, if you want to, um, have some more secure internet connections, you can adjust the settings there and that's how you would do it. Now, finally, if we look in the privacy settings here, 
you'll see that this is probably also quite familiar. Um, this is where you need to go if an app asks for your permissions. Um, so we can have a look here. You see on the left hand side, you've got a list of all your apps um, and the different permissions that they would require. And then if you click on a certain permission, you can see then um, what apps have um, been allowed that certain permission. So starting off with location services, you can decide whether you want to turn that on or off. Uh, I'll leave that on for now. And you can choose what applications have access to that. So I might want to turn off the calendar uh, for location or I might need to turn on something like Microsoft Edge uh, if I want to allow location services for those things. And then you can go down each of these lists. Some of these um, uh, certain categories, no apps will have requested it, but when they do, you'll see them here. And you can go down and see um, what apps have um, access to what things. So you can see here, um, these apps have access to control my computer for accessibility uh, for various different reasons. And then if an app you need isn't showing up, you can just click the plus button and then go to your applications folder and then choose the app that you need and then just click open and it will then show up in this list and then you can check whether it has access to that or not. And then same thing, if you want to remove an app from this list, you can just click the minus button and it will go away. And yeah, that's essentially the same thing across all these different categories, so it's pretty simple. And some of these categories, such as location services, um, will have some information here, like um, the little location icon indicates that an app has used your location within the last 24 hours. And then you can also find out some more about location services and privacy if you want to as well. And finally, um, at the bottom of this, um, you'll see there's an advanced button. Um, and you'll see that this um, just has some advanced security and privacy settings across all the different categories. And you can see whether you want to um, log out the computer after 60 minutes of inactivity or, or require an administrator password to access system-wide preferences. So... Um, there's just a few extra hidden settings that are there. And then once you're done changing all these settings, you can then just click the lock again to prevent further changes. You'll hear the little lock noise again. And then that means you can't change any of these settings without entering an administrator password once again. So yeah, that's it on how to change the security and privacy settings on your macOS device. It's pretty straightforward and there are a lot of options here, but once you know what you're looking for, um, it's pretty easy to change the setting you need and then get on with your day. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success adjusting the security and privacy settings to your personal needs and preferences. And hopefully that makes you feel more secure and comfortable with how your Mac device works. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.